Welcome everyone, my iPhone is on iOS 26 and I want to downgrade to iOS 18. You probably want to as well, but when you try, so I'm going to do the steps that would be shown in any YouTube tutorial. So I'm doing nothing wrong, but after I click restore, there's an error message that appears. And this can say error 3194, this error 4192, any error appears and your iPhone just is not downgrading. Now, the reason why this happens is not because the YouTube tutorials are fake, but because Apple has allowed the downgrade in the past, but right now they are not allowing it anymore. So to understand this further, let's take a look at this website right here. This is a website that shows all of Apple's iOS software and the download links. And so if I just look for my iPhone 11, you will notice we have sign IPSWs, green tick, showing for the latest iOS 26. And then we have unsigned IPSWs and there's a red X next to iOS 18.6.2. What on earth does that mean? Well, what this means is even though we see iOS 18, we can click on it and we can even download the software right now. While we can download iOS 18 at any time, we are not allowed to install it into our iPhone. The reason why this is the case is because Apple only allows you to install the latest iOS software available. At the time of recording, this is iOS 26.0.1. However, when Apple releases a brand new software for around one to two weeks, the previous software version can be downloaded and installed. And so when you watch those YouTube tutorials, those were made when iOS 18.6.2 could be downloaded and Apple approved the install onto iPhones. However, that window of Apple allowing you to install the software has passed. You can download the software, but iTunes find that they are not going to approve the software to be installed into your device. This is an Apple server check and you cannot bypass the server check unless you hack your iPhone. Now you might be thinking, well, how hard is it to hack the iPhone? Well, unfortunately, there are no public hacks and jailbreaks that exist that would allow the downgrade. The last time an iPhone was hacked, uh, this is iPhone 10 here. This is the latest device, which has a hardware vulnerability, which would allow me to install any iOS software version I want. The oldest iPad, which allowed such a hack was the iPad Pro 2017. So these are by Apple's definition, vintage devices, not my definition, but Apple's definition. And I mean, you can see this iPad is just so old. No devices that support iOS 26 have a security vulnerability necessary that we could use to downgrade back to iOS 18. So what this means for you is you are stuck on iOS 26. I understand the frustration of this because my daily driver iPad Pro 11 inch third generation, this is M1 iPad Pro. I updated it to iOS 26. And after the update, even swiping across, it might not show on video, but my iPad is just lagging everywhere. I swipe down here, there's lag frames. I mean, are you seeing that? Is that picking up on video? It's lagging while going to the app library. This firmware has destroyed my iPad Pro and I can't do anything. You can't really do anything. The best you can do is just look for brand new software updates when they come out, try updating, and hopefully Apple will fix the performance, fix the optimization in a future iOS 26. The downgrade opportunity has closed and you won't be able to downgrade to iOS 18 anymore. Now, real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video useful, thank you. If you did not find this video useful, leave any questions, any concerns in the comment section. I will try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.